Hello everyone. My name is C. Neha Garwal from BISP Solutions and the topic for today is defining geographies in vacuole fusion applications. The meaning of geography is the physical space on earth such as a location or region that's defined by a boundary. For example, it may be an existing geopolitical location such as San Jose or Peru, United States, etc. These geographical locations are used in the applications to manage business requirements such as sales territories, transportation deliveries, taxation, logistics, and so on. So in the Oracle Fusion application, we define the geography by specifying the country, the state, the counties, and the postal codes and other geographical types. So uh, before defining the geographies, we'll understand what are the components of a geography. So the components of geographies are the structure, hierarchy, and then the validation. Geographic structure is a hierarchical group of geography types for a country. The hierarchy is the data model that creates conceptual parent-child relationship between the geographies. And the geographic validation determines the geography mapping and validation for the country's address style as well as the overall geography validation control for a country. We'll understand one by one each term and then we'll see how these geographies are managed in the Oracle Fusion applications. So to understand what is the geography structure, we'll consider an example that uh, there is a world, world, then countries, then regions, and then cities. These are the geography types which we create and we'll have to rank them. Like if we want world at the top level, then we'll have to give it uh, at the level one, then countries at the level two, then regions at the level three, and cities at the level four, and postal codes at a lower level. So we'll create these geography types and specify their levels. For example, we can create the geography types called states, cities, postal, postal codes, and then we can rank the state geography types as the highest level within a country and then the city at the second level and then the postal code as the lowest level within a country structure. So this way we'll specify the country structure. Then we will create the parent-child relationship, which is called as the hierarchy. So for example, over here, USA is the parent and California and Texas are the child. So this is, in this way, we'll define the hierarchies. So geographical hierarchy is a data model that creates conceptual parent-child relationship between geographies. As part of managing geography hierarchies, we can cre view, create, edit, and delete the geographies for each geography type in a country structure. We can also add a primary and alternate name and code for each geography. And this can be created using the manage geography task. After that, we have to uh, define the validation by determining the geography mapping and validation for a country's address style, as well as the overall geography validation control for a country. After defining the hierarchy, we need to specify the validation. So we'll choose the address style and we'll uh, also specify the mandatory field uh, for any address attributes. So all that we can do under the geography validation. So uh, what are the steps to manage geography? We'll see that and then we will move to the instance. So we can define geographical structure and corresponding master geographies through using the task manage geographies. We'll create the country and then enable geocoding. Geocoding are the uh, information of latitude and longitude of a country. And then address cleansing, we'll enable, and then we will define the structure and we'll import the geography data and then the hierarchy and then validation. This way, our geographies will be managed. So moving to the instance,
So we'll uh, go to setup and maintenance. From here in the task list, we'll select the search option. So we have to remember this, this, uh, this we are not doing in our project. We are searching after, uh, we are searching it, uh, not in the project, but outside the project. So we'll click on the search icon and we'll search here, manage geographies. So basically these geographies are already created in the system. I'll just navigate uh, to the different options and show you how these geographies are managed in the system. So we'll enter a country code, say USA and click on the search. So this is the country name, United States. And see the geocoding def defined is already enabled over here. If this wasn't enabled, we have to just click on this icon and then it will be enabled. Likewise, we'll have to click on the address cleansing defined. And as you can see, the status uh, is, uh, can be seen as completed. However, we have to just click on this and then a pop-up will open where we have to click on the save and close icon. Then this step will be completed. After doing these two steps, we move to the structure def defining. So, however, this is completed, but we can see how the structure is defined by clicking on this. So, these are the geography type. As I told you in that uh, slide, that uh, these are the geography type, state, county, city, postal codes. We can add a geography type through selecting any geography type from here. Say if I want to add district, I can just select it and click on add icon. If any geography type is not available over here, we can go to create and add geography type. Through that, we can add a geography type. So uh, this in this way, the district is added on the level five. So as it is not required, I'll just delete it. These are the predefined structures which are already created in the instance. So through this, we can manage the structure of, of our geography. After that, we have to go on the action tab and click the import geography data. However, as this, uh, this is already um, and defined in the system, the action is enabled. While doing this import geography data, the geographical data or the structure is uh, imported and is visible for the user to work on it. Uh, after the structure is defined, we can define the hierarchy. So to view, we'll just click on that icon and you can see the hierarchy over here. See, the United States is the country, then AK is the state, and under that, you can see the county. Under county, you can see the city, and under the city can be the postal code. So this way, the hierarchy is defined, and you can see the name data provider is user entered for the state, uh, for the country, that is United States. However, for the state, county, cities, Vertex is the data provider from where the data has been loaded in the Oracle instance. So if we want to add a postal code, we have to just select the city. And from here, we can click on add it. And from here, we can just add the postal code we require to enter. So through this, we can add the uh, postal states or the cities or the county we want to add in the created structure. Once we have seen how hierarchies are defined, we can go on the validation defined tab. 
so you can see i have told you that address style of format we can select from here so this is the address style that is being so shown and this uh, state is available for tax validation and geographical validation this way we we'll enable all these check boxes and validation will be done if we want to select no styles format then we can also select that so this way we manage the geography in the oracle fusion applications hope you have understood uh and thank you for watching